That was a good exercise for a that, moment. That was, uh, that was pretty good. Now, so what we want to do, that was a big thank you to all of the developers who've done so much for us, but we have a, another specific thank you we'd like to do, and that is uh, Randy Bryant. And if we could invite uh, Randy Bryant, who's the Dean of Computer Science Department at Carnegie Mellon on stage, could you uh, join us here? How you doing, Randy? Thank you. By the way, so, James, I'm very gratified to see you in your role as software rock star as one of our alumni. Yes, indeed. <laughs> indeed. So, you guys have had a, uh, a project going on at CMU for quite a few years. It's been really influential in educating people. people. Let's get some breath back. You haven't been playing a lot of hockey lately, yeah. have you? No, I haven't. <laughs> but then you just had to stand there. <laughs> um, but anyway, you guys, um, the School of Computer Science, the Alice Project, and of course the, the leader of the Alice Project, Randy Pausch, have done a phenomenal job of teaching kids programming and teaching it through Java and getting them visually engaged and excited and so, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you. <laughs> so Randy Pausch had a vision of, of getting young people hooked on programming by having them tell stories and create games using a input programming notation based on visual uh, graphics. And uh, he deployed that with the program Alice 2, which is widely available and, in fact, is downloaded about a thousand times a day from the servers at Carnegie Mellon. Uh, and now the new version, Alice 3, is just coming out, and it's, one of its roles is to help people learn Java programming by having a transition where they can go from this graphic input to writing code using NetBeans. And uh, it's uh, being demoed here at Java 1, uh, in the pavilion, I recommend you come take a look by the Java, the, the um, Alice team. Uh, we've also had a lot of support from Electronic Arts, has donated the rights to the Sims characters, which are very compelling, of course, and Sun, uh, which has given us quite a bit of, of technical support. Uh, Randy Pausch, as you know, uh, became famous for a lecture he gave at Carnegie Mellon in the fall of 2007, part of which was that he had terminal cancer, and unfortunately he died last July. Uh, but Alice continues as his legacy, and we're very pleased for the ability for uh, Sun and for Java developers to make use of it. Yeah, and so, so Randy wasn't just a professor at Carnegie Mellon, he was also a student there. Uh, he had had a long association with the place, and. I actually got to interact with him because we were grad students at the same time, and he was a pretty amazing guy. Must have been the waters. <laughs> uh, uh, or not, or the bars. <laughs> I mean, Pittsburgh, they don't drink the water, but the bars are great. Right. <laughs> great. Very good. Thank you very Thank much. You. Thank you. Thank you, Scott. Thanks. Thanks for Thank that. you. Appreciate it. So uh, we'll have a, a minor dip in the IQ up here on stage here as uh, those two leave the stage. But 